Okay gang, Private Jack here and basically I've been asked to do a couple of tutorials. I'm going to try and bounce uh, a couple of the uh, items into one video. So uh, might get a little long, hopefully it won't. Anyway, what I've done is I've broken Source Filmmaker. I got it to a point where it will not launch and I'm going to show you how to fix it. So here we go. I'm going to come in here to launch Source Filmmaker and lo and behold failed to start it's missing its executables I don't know what's wrong with it the way that we fix this is go into our Steam client and go to library okay in the library you want to go to all softwares right click on Source Filmmaker come down here to properties go to local files and verify the integrity of the application cache now if you happen to be downloading and your program stops at 99 percent come in here to your uh, client and see if source film maker actually resides under all softwares if it does do the same thing right click on source film maker go to properties go to local files and verify integrity of the application cache now once you click on this the program is going to lock itself up and basically verify the game cache file you won't be able to use uh, the steam apps until such time as it finishes so click on verify integrity little box will pop up here and it will go through and it'll start reading through all the files that are part and parcel of Source Filmmaker. So if I try to click on anything here like go to the store or go to the community it won't let me do it because it is tied up right here doing its thing validating Steam files so I don't think I can even minimize it no I can't even minimize it so until such time as this thing finishes steam apps are unusable the other thing is is uh, this can take a little bit of time because it's got to go through and it's got to validate every file that's part and parcel of the uh, steam um, game that you're actually trying to validate the game cache for, file for. If you really want to get into the community what you do is you go down and you launch an Internet Explorer session, go to Steam powered powered dot com and log into your uh, Steam account from here. I can go to the discussion groups here and I can pull up the hub but I don't think I can actually post unless I log in. So let's see. Surely to goodness it'll let me in here. There we go. I can come in here and I can look at the discussions. I can do pretty much anything I want. If I log in, I can actually go to my friends' uh, stuff and do anything I would normally do in the client. So until the client finishes, I'm going to stop and stop the video and wait for it to complete. Okay, we're about five minutes in to the validation process and basically I'm still only at 20%. So as I say, this thing can take time. I'm going to log off again until such time as I get to about 95% and then I'll be back.
Okay, here we are at about 20 minutes in, and I'm still only at 78%. So, like I say, this thing is going to take a lot of time to go through and validate the actual cache files. One of the things is, is if you have no cache, f if you have no files in that directory, it's pretty quick. Uh, I tried to do this tutorial once before, and I had completely emptied out the Source Film Maker directory. Uh, within seconds it came back and told me I was missing 90,000 files and started downloading 7 gigs of uh, 7.4 gigs of uh, files for Source Filmmaker. Unfortunately that video didn't turn out so uh, here I am trying to do a quick and dirty uh, tutorial instead. Anyway, be back when this thing reaches 100%. Okay, we're back. And the process is finished, 100% completed. Says that 14,533 files failed to validate and will be reacquired, which means that uh, if I go into my library now and go down to my downloads, I'll find that uh, Source Filmmaker actually downloaded 265 megs of files and it completed at 6.30, which was oh, about 36 minutes after I started the process. So, that being said, I come down here now and I close off all this stuff, go into my Source Filmmaker now, I should be able to launch it and we'll have no problems. Now it'll take a little while to load up because of the fact that uh, it has acquired all those new files and basically has to reassert itself into the system. And I'll come back as soon as this finishes. Oh, here we go now. Now you'll notice that I've got a little window here that pops up. It's because I've got a startup uh, command in my uh, startup uh, parameters that says that I want it to be able to render it uh, 1080p. And that command is dash sfm underscore resolution space 1080 in the command line of the launch properties. Okay, now that that's loaded to say OK to that. Everything's fine. You'll notice here that there's a whole bunch of particles that can't be found, yada, yada, yada. Um, I'm not going to worry about that right yet. My screen looks different than yours does simply due to the fact that I have a customized layout that I like. And I'm going to create a session. Now I'll get bugged that uh, it wants to download workshop files. I don't want them right now because what I'm going to do is I'm going to head into a new video uh, where I actually load up all the custom content that came down in the new packs. Before I do that, what we're going to do is we're just going to have a quick look at the model browser here. And I should not be able to find any of the fall 2013 items, any of the Halloween items, maybe some of the MVM stuff, uh, because they are not included in the uh, bare bones uh, TF package that comes down with Source Filmmaker. And for example, uh, the carrier is a good example of that. In the uh, actual TF package that comes down with Source Filmmaker, the uh, materials are not in the proper place for the command carrier or the parts. And if we look here, oh, well, maybe it didn't clear out some of the stuff that I thought it would. But you can see here things are not moving properly and uh, that kind of thing. Let's see if. I did have the 2013 items in already and it looks like that they're still here so 
I'm going to get rid of all those and come back with another video on how to bring the 2013 fall and Halloween items into Source Filmmaker. So with that, I'm going to say Private Jack out for now.